Today we'll be touring this three bedroom, two bathroom farmhouse situated in the Crow Canyon area of Casper Valley. This home has 2,100 square feet of living area, is nestled around lots of greenery around here and has a creek running in the backyard, which we're gonna show in a little bit. So follow me right in. Welcome in, this is the entryway where we just came in from. And uh, this home has hardwood floors all throughout the house. And like I mentioned to you earlier, it's built in the 1920s, uh, almost 1930s, built in 1928. So this home, as you could, I, it's, it's hard for me to really put this in words, the feeling that you get when you walk in here, but I hope you can see it through the lens of the camera. Um, it, has, it has the old rustic look, even though the seller has enthusiastically made upgrades on this house, it, it still retains that old fashioned, old rustic feel in here with the high ceilings in this room and the wooden uh, beams on top. So it gives you that old farmhouse feel. So this is the living area that we're in right now. Um, Lots of sunlight in here. Today's just a little cloudy of a day, so you're not gonna get to see everything, but um, formal living area, um, your area to read books here, have some coffee, look out the window, which is kind of adjacent to where you would put your couches and possibly your TV. Now we're gonna move in to the kitchen and the dining area. Uh, they have repainted this whole place um, again, as you can see how there's lots of light in here, all the windows here overlook the backdrop of all the green trees, lots of lighting in this room. Um, the windows are, have, uh, electrical shades that go up and down. Um, and these windows have, um, storage. This is pretty old school. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but there's storage, um, right next to the window. So that's kind of cool. And you can lay around here and uh, entertain your guests and read books and chill and hang out. Um, and then we have the kitchen. Again, it's uh, wood, wood flooring all throughout the house. The kitchen has lots of sunlight, super bright. You know, you're washing your dishes, looking out, and all you see is greenery everywhere. Um, there are hills in the background. And like I had already mentioned to you, this is in the Crow Canyon area of Casper Valley. Um, other farmhouses that are around here. Granite countertops. There's a walk-in pantry right here. Take a look in there. And the appliances in here are all Thermador, which is a great brand. And now, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the house. So, we have um, attic access. We're not going to go in there, but there's a huge attic in this house. This is one of the bathrooms, bathroom number one, which is a full bath. And this is bedroom number one on the first floor. Um, and it leads out to the back. So if you open that door, it goes to the side of the house and you can go to the back of the house. And this room also has hookups for your um, laundry, uh, for your washer and dryer. And remember guys, this is um, you know about 2,100 square feet, so they're making the best of the space in this house. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go downstairs and check out the rest of the house. Okay, so um, that door in the back Come, it hits the side of the house and, and just like we just looked at the room upstairs, it's right below that room. And this is another room, pretty big room here. Uh, this room has a, a setup of, they set it up this way and they've staged it for, you know, two beds possibly for a share for two people in this room. And this room actually leads out to the patio which you will get a, a better full view towards the end of the video, but here you can see it leads right off to the back. All right, so now let's keep moving. Uh, it has a closet. Okay, this is just a closet. 
put stuff in, another closet, and now um, I'm gonna get out of the way so you guys can shoot this. This is another full bathroom with a tub. And uh, that bathroom that you just saw is not connected to the master bedroom, but it's, it's the bathroom. This would be considered the master because it has a walk-in closet, just more space. The other room that we just saw earlier is also a pretty large room, but this has to be the largest room in the house. Um, a little table to set up your workstation here. Uh, you can set it up how you want to. Two steps, just kind of a old school rustic feel again. Area for your bed. Um, and a, a very spacious walk-in closet. Very, very cute house. A lot of just warm feeling when you're in this house. Um, oh, another thing, the sellers have done a lot of upgrades. They've actually upgraded this home's air, air conditioning and heating system. Uh, there is dual zoning in this home where you can heat the two areas of the home separately and, and save a lot on energy. And then this room leads out to the walkout deck that we saw earlier through the other room, but this is the main deck in the house um, that overlooks the backyard, the creek in the back, and the road that's behind the creek. So you can exit out to the patio of the, the main patio of the house right through this master bedroom. So now let's go check out the patio that goes out from this master bedroom. Kind of chilly out here guys, um, if you're watching this video from other parts of the world and not California. So the backyard has lots of space, this is a wooden deck right connected to the house. Uh, this house has about 19,000 square feet of lot size. This is a farmhouse like I mentioned. There is a road that runs beyond the creek. I'm not sure if you can get a good look at the creek, but the creek's pretty full right now because all the rain that we're getting here in California. Um, and there's also, since I mentioned this is a uh, farmhouse, there's a septic tank on property. So it has a little uh, side area where you can actually plant your vegetables and your greenery and your flowers and your healthy food. And uh, this area kind of touches, well not kind of, but touches the road that leads into the house. And that's where your guests can also park their cars. Um, it's not a gated community, but it's up the hill, and it's very secluded, and um, very quiet up here. So, hope you're enjoying the tour. So, if you are looking for a farmhouse in the Bay Area that is eight to 10 minutes away, this is your property, and this is something that you can get around 1.2 to 1.3 million. Other parts of the Bay Area, towards the peninsula, and maybe towards the South Bay, things get more expensive, but here in the East Bay, uh, something like this is still fairly economical if you're looking for that farm life, um, but you wanna be close to the city, Castro Valley is gonna be your spot. There's lots of trails around this home, beautiful scenic views everywhere, lots of trees, lots of fresh air, and wildlife around here. But that's all I have for today, guys. Keep watching. Keep following my channel, and if you've got real value out of this video, please don't hit, forget to hit the like button because more people like yourself are going to be showing this video. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Gun and Sing.